Uh, so I'm Khalid from Cricket Fanatics Magazine and I'm here with Graham. You should know him. So of course, just give some insights into the Mzanzi Super League and how you've found it this season. Um, obviously a bit of a stuttered start with all the rain across the country, so I've missed two games already, so I'm so glad that things have really kicked off here um, in the in the Boerlands. Loving the cricket so far. A couple of big marquee names. I think for me the real treat, being able to see the Mornay Morkels, Dale Staines, A.B. de Villiers, these guys that we've... You know, they're part of our cricketing DNA. Absolutely awesome to see them out here. I think where the, the South African cricket psyche is at the moment, <laughs> maybe we need a smile a little bit. We need to see some explosive cricket. I mean, what James Vince did, did out there today, absolutely amazing. Um, obviously, carrying that World Cup form, that, that T20 form for the UK um, out here. But I've, I've absolutely loved it. Love the fact that the fans have come out here. Paul's always massive. I think that's the joy of having a slightly yeah. smaller stadium. But I love it, man, to have five weeks of good, solid T20 cricket on South African shores mm -hmm. and it does it, it stands up to the international leagues uh, the big bash I think this is something that feels very South African and I'm glad that the players have responded the local players I think maybe we need to lure in a few more kind of big name marquee players as well yeah us as the media our role in doing this obviously of course so I think that we play a massive role in getting people interested in the tournament yeah. Leading up to the tournament, there are a lot of youngsters that people don't know about. We should be hyping them up. Do you think that that's the case? Oh, completely. Um, yeah, you think of Bjorn here and, and Paul, the um, Nokia's of this world, guys that put themselves on the Protea map by their performances in the Mzanzi Super League last year. You've got to respond to it. And, you know, we've seen it with the big sporting brands like the Springboks. That, that brand got turned around because the fans embraced the team. Yeah. And the same thing has to happen in cricket. And it happens on all levels. And I'm sorry that T20, this kind of T20 format, is a developmental structure. It's yeah. all about young players getting opportunity to spend time in the dugout with your JP Germanys and the like for them to be kind of bled into the system of South African cricket, get themselves, you know, play themselves into form. But all of it falls horribly short if fans <laughs> don't support. Support them on social media, support them at the stadiums. You know, the, the advertisers, the big brands need to see this, especially in a South African context. If we want this to stay afloat and do well, the fans have to do it. Consumers need to show their will to get the brands on board man now i want to talk to you about domestic cricket in south africa obviously there was a lot of talk about it this tournament is extremely important for that and you said it yourself beyond for time these guys like um vian Lubber today that scored yes. 83 unbelievable for those kids and those young cricketers how important is this tournament I just, you know, we, we've heard, you know, players like uh, Luso saying earlier, Mornay Morkels is idle. Yeah. So you can imagine for a young player to be able to get critical advice in key moments when you're playing in conditions like this, when it's windy, when it's a yeah. slow pitch and you're a quick bowler who's got to vary your pace, to be able to go and have a Mornay Morkel to be able to talk through, to give you that critical advice in those junctures, this is going to be career-defining moments. These guys will be inspired, they'll be pumped up, and they get to enjoy amazing moments in front of the, the crowds. But it is, you've seen it with all the big leagues, IPL have probably done it incredibly well, where this becomes a developmental tool to train young players for the big moments. And then we get to capitalize on a bigger scale when those players play themselves into, into form. So I think it's critical for domestic cricket. We want to see young players being drafted in. Um, they make a bit of money as well, which yeah. is great. So, and, and every sportsman, their window we know is very, very short. So um, if we can support their careers, that's great. But this puts them front and center. The press starts to learn about them. They get camera ready. They start to learn the dynamics of what it is to play within a team environment as well and where their position in that team is, how to think. And we know that T20 is unforgiving, man. So you, you've got to be on it. You, you, you have an <laughs> off day and, and you could literally lose the game for your team. So these guys are going to be trained in the furnace, in the fire, and that for me is, is irreplaceable. So one of our, one of our own, Nabila Fakir, she interviewed Skara early on. Yeah. She asked him an interesting question. I'm going to cool. bring it back because you brought up the spring box. Yeah. Far fastest challenge, okay. where everybody has to wear that little speedo. <laughs> are you going to take the challenge? <laughs> and who are you going to nominate for that challenge? I, I don't know. I, look, I, I, I do a show called Expresso on SABC3, and I just, I've had this feeling the whole of last week. Every time my producer looked at me, she was like, hmm... Hmm. And I don't say she was picturing me without my clothes on, but I think she was picturing you without my clothes on. So I'm, I'm going to wait and, and see. I think I, I have a feeling on Monday morning on Express that we might be challenging each other. I just have a feeling it's going to happen. But to raise awareness of a Movember around testicular cancer, I mean, I'm, I'm of that age now where I've got to get my prostate checked. It's just the way that it is. Early detection is absolutely vital. And the fact that the box, all these guys, these big names, these guys who have huge followings on social media, yes, it's fun. And we know that, um, you know, the other fuff, um, you know, obviously had a lot of fun with it, but it's an opportunity for all men to just let go of the stigma, talk about it, and get in to be checked. That's the most important thing. And lastly, 
I just want you to give a message to the Cricket Fanatics fans out there and also aspiring broadcasters out there that want to also follow in your footsteps. Well, I think it's awesome, first of all, to, that you're supporting Cricket Fanatics, um, which is really cool. The more independence we can see breaking out and carving their own path, so that is, is absolutely vital. The industry needs it. We, we can go digital now. And I think for all young broadcasters, take that in, on, on board. That, yes, there might be one or two gigs on live TV available, but you can pick up a camera, you can pick up a microphone, you can get yourself out there, and you can start creating good content. The most important thing, be yourself. In the time in between you being on camera, you've got to meet players, you've got to connect with team managers, you've got to work with cameramen, you've got to build a relationship with your crew. And if you're not authentic and you're not yourself, you'll get found out very quickly. So be nice to absolutely everybody because you don't know where they're going to end up. They could be your, your next most important interview, um, the gap that you need. And it so often happens to me that legwork that I've done years before has earned me the right to be able to go and walk up to a Mornay and be able to have a chat on the side of the field because I've formed a relationship we've made a connection and if you're going to get into sport let your heart guide you unless you love it don't do it um, unless you're a fanatic don't <laughs> do it but um, most importantly just do it don't wait don't, don't say I'm going to one day be a broadcaster call yourself a broadcaster right now pick up a camera and go and do it so there you have it guys follow him follow Espresso follow Cricket Fanatics Magazine give us a subscribe like and share thanks guys